It's track reviews. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well, and it's time for a track review. My thoughts on a brand new song and single, a new one this time from the forthcoming record of Miss Billie Eilish. Happier Than Ever is the title. The drop date is coming ever closer, July 30th. And as we get closer, we get more tastes, more teasers from the record. Now we have the fourth one, Lost Cause. If you guys have been following my opinions and takes of Miss Eilish's music so far, you know that I loved her debut. And you know that I think the teasers to this new record so far have been kind of a hodgepodge, not a super clear stylistic thread carrying them all together. Maybe the cohesion will become clear once the entire record is out. But uh, with these songs so far, I'm, I'm having a hard time knowing really what to expect on this LP, which I suppose is not entirely a bad thing. So Lost Cause, going to give this track a try and see not only if it's good, but if there is a bit of a clear direction coming through. But, 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 but uh, before I do that, I do want to quickly give a shout out to our sponsor, good people over at The Ridge. They still make these awesome, nice, nifty, sleek, sexy, rugged, metal-plated wallets, tens of thousands of positive reviews for these babies. Hit up that link down below and use promo code MELON for 10% off, and that's all you got to do. All right, so, Billie Eilish, Lost Cause, let's give it a shot. Ba-bam! I... Thought that was pretty sick. Between this song, Your Power, also My Future, are Billy and Phineas trying to, I guess, trend away from some of the overtly darker and edgier sounds from the debut. I do love that edgy kind of quality of that record, but I suppose if Billy is going to mature as an artist, it's not a space that emotionally and aesthetically she can hang in forever. I do like that she dips into that a little bit on Therefore I Am. Maybe in a way this record will be a, a clearer, brighter album, but still have lots of intensely emotional and sad, introspective themes, as evidenced by this track, as evidenced by your power, as evidenced by my future. I think the message is pretty straightforward, pretty clear. It's well put, it's well written, but the idea isn't too much deeper than I used to want to be with this particular person, I used to want this person, and now I'm realizing just how awful they truly are, and I can't believe uh, where I was at mentally that, that made me want that, and here are the reasons this person is terrible. They just really have nothing going for them whatsoever. In so many words, that is the message that Billie Eilish is getting across. Again, it's pretty straightforward, it's pretty simple, as is the instrumental between the head bobbing beat, the bass line, the bass line. I'm sorry, I'm tempted. Yeah! Sort of, kind of, mostly. Look, the bass tone is amazing. It's so thick, it's so rich, it's so wonderful, it's so sweet. The track doesn't really need that much more in my opinion. Maybe I'm a little bass biased, but I do think the bass line is uh, really sick. And again, between the vocals, that bass line, that beat, really reminds me of a throwback from the 90s. Maybe just a, a dash of trip hop in there. Maybe even something like some, some Dido fans maybe could get down with. I'm sure there's kind of like an amalgamation of sounds and influences kind of going into the head bobbing, bassy simplicity of this song, but it works. It works. And I think miking Billy's vocals in a way that's super close, super in your face is to be expected because that's usually what you get on a Billy Eilish track. But I think in a mix this bare and this intimate, it works especially. The few hits of vocal harmonies that you get here and there sound beautiful. And uh, even though Billy's vocals continue to be delivered in this very low key style, uh, they're still very expressive. They're still passionate. They're still emotionally compelling. Yeah, I'm liking this one quite a bit. I think, uh, you know, it's uh, thing, things are a little too uh, for four right now. I think Therefore I Am is a great single. I loved this one too. My Future, I'm not crazy about. And Your Power, 
I love the story, I love the sentiment, but I find the instrumental to be a little underwhelming. You know, sounded almost like a lesser version of a Phoebe Bridgers song or something like that. But even though this track as well was pretty bare, it had a very steady and engaging groove to it. And in a way, I did think that this was very much a Billy and Phineas take on a uh, kind of a 90s classic. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this track. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Billie Eilish, forever. Get out of my face. Uh, get out of my face.